Guys, before you try anything you see in one of my videos or any other video, you want to make sure you seek advice from a professional to make sure you're doing it exactly the right way. You don't want to end up like me, sticking your head where it didn't belong. Now, I ain't got no teeth, man. Come on now. So, wear protective gloves. Wear safety goggles. Do what you're supposed to do. I mean, I don't wear these cool shades for nothing. Today on Nate's Interactive Auto, we'll show you how to test a car battery correctly the easy way. Unlike this low meter, although it is better than a multimeter because it does apply heavy load to show the battery's true health, this is why you want to try to use something like an analyzer because it can check your entire charging system and the price differential is very little, almost the same. Well, with this Topden BT100, which is also similar to the Topden RT101 that you've probably heard about, you can test out the alternator, cranking amps, starting system. I mean, it does it all. Well, without further ado, let's jump into it. I don't want to get blown up with hydrogen gases, so I won't be smoking any cigars around the battery. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your battery terminals are good and clean. There's no corrosion. You'll go ahead, hook up your top done scanner. You want to hook up positive first, and this is dummy proof. So it does have polarity protection. This way, if you reverse the polarity, no problem. You won't blow yourself up or tear the car up. Now we'll go ahead, press M to enter the menu. We'll go down to battery test. It's the first one you can select. It also has language for many people that use many other languages and many other battery types. Battery type, AGM flat plate, AGM spiral, gel, EFB, many other types that you can choose as well deep cycle marine batteries motorcycle batteries we'll go up to regular flooded battery enter this co-cranking amps select input 740 co-cranking amp i'll show you guys how you can find that information as you can see on the battery label it does show your cold cranking amps it also shows cranky gamps at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So this will be 730 degrees co-cranking amps. Or 730 co-cranking amps. I was way off on that one. I hope it wouldn't be 730 degrees. I'd be burned up to a toast. So you can use the up and down arrow keys to take it to where you need it. In my case, I needed it. 730 co-cranking amps. Then press enter, testing battery, pretty simple and fast, that's what I love about it, and it's very accurate, healthy, 100%, 773 co-cranking amps, charge rate, 62%, 12.42, another great feature I love about this, internal resistance, 3.85, that will be your ohms rated 730 amp good battery as you can see goods highlighted so it's not necessary that you know what all this information does mean however it gives you extra charts and so forth with the manual that comes with this even though it tells you whether it's good or bad all on its own so there's nothing for you to guys to figure out now to the next step this top then is also able to test out the starter Let's do a cranking test. Start engine. Okay, so the cranking test was a little bit low, but let's go ahead and move on to the next test. The charging test, let's check it out. Pretty great, it actually shows a ripple test as well. 
Charging test increase RPM to 2500 and keep it 5 seconds. Press enter to continue. Load 14.43 volts, unload 14.4 volts, ripple 69 millivolts. Hey, if you want more information on where to find one of these, just check out the link in the description below. And please, do not reach your arms or limbs inside hot engine parts or moving parts, because I'm not going to be responsible when you get hurt, man. So be careful, be safe. Thanks for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.